On the 18th day of Christmas, R.F. Racing gave to me Lord Miller Content. You guys may have honestly seen this on the news. This happened like two miles away from my house in the neighborhood. Look at this firefighter walking next to this Pronto truck. Explosion. Gas explosion from this house. There was a gas leak. Pronto hit like a gas line. UGI was there, which is the local gas company, and it exploded. No one was hurt. No one was killed. But holy smokes. I, I mean, my house is run on gas, but this is crazy how dangerous this stuff is. It's just like a freaking nuke. It's like a bomb hit this house. But yeah, thank God everyone was all right. It happened just miles away from my house. Shook the buildings. It was nuts. All right, you guys have heard before I'm giving away my Colorado ZR2. This is down in the description. It's limited to a thousand entries. Now, obviously with this giveaway going on for a couple of months and me being a small channel, it's going to be very, very tough to give away a thousand or sell a thousand spots. So, for those of you that have entered, we're probably going to be trimming down the amount of entries allowed. And for those who have not entered, you may have as good of a chance as 1 in 500, 1 in 600. We'll see what we cut it down to. But it's $70 right now for Christmas, the Christmas sale. To enter to win this truck, you get a sick poster of it. Everything is back to 100% on this vehicle. An insane lifetime warranty BDS lift. Huge 37-inch tires. In-chain designs. One-of-a-kind wrap. Fab Force bumpers and almost every single dealer add-on you can put on this truck. So it's super clean. The entries are super limited. And it's very, very cheap. So change your life, win this truck, or you know what? Buy someone a poster like this for Christmas and win them the truck. The U-Haul is gone. The engine's pulled. That is a huge weight lifted off of our shoulders here because we have the 5.3 engine sitting right over here ready for its new home. Now, I've been asking you guys for how long now, where you guys would like to see this engine reside. And after just moving my 1500 outside and it failing to work after I turned the key off, because I was like, oh, let me adjust a little bit more and it's not firing back up. Something's seriously wrong with that vehicle but it could either go in that truck 1500 have a super reliable 5.3 in it with a bunch more power or like we were originally going to do and put it in the pontiac gto i know this is taboo because you want a pontiac engine in this it'd be insane to have just a clean factory Pontiac engine for this, what it's meant to have but imagine having a 5.3 super reliable this would be the most reliable Pontiac GTO on the road today. And my dad's dream is to take this across Route 66 from Chicago to LA and it'd be really nice to have a reliable engine in this machine. But for right now, we're focusing on the 6.2 here and mods for this. We haven't modified this vehicle. Man, honestly, I don't think we put anything on this after the AW exhaust, the wheels and tires, tail lights, and then just some odds and ends, just because there's not many parts available for it. So we have to go for universal parts for this truck, which luckily I have a uh, great one of mine and so did horn blasters. These things, I've heard are insane. They're on Mike's uh, Duramax that he used to have those were super loud, but this is like their new and improved model and Mike has uh, Mike has a pretty well-rounded neighborhood us on the other hand we're out in the sticks and uh, I think that some of the neighbors are gonna really love this for Christmas All right, so let's unbox this and see what they all gave us All right, so these are definitely the horn. We got some toolbox stickers here. This one kind of looks like I'm assuming this is the compressor Holy smokes, that's heavy, but it looks like what a model train would come in it even has a train on the outside for the train horns. But yeah, big heavy duty compressor. Assuming this is wires and hardware. And they also got us hooked up here with a flag. I know these are kind of corny, but I actually like these because one day whenever I have a garage, it's gonna be cool to hang up all the flags to all my sponsors. We have some from Detour Sunglasses, Horn Blasters now, and I think from Pit Viper even, I got a flag upstairs from them. Yeah, you definitely get what you pay for with these guys. Uh, they're not expensive, I shouldn't say, but it's like one of the best, it's probably the best train horn you could buy for your trucks. If you're looking for this, or you want like a mirrored SEMA build, this is what you want because the quality is unmatched. All right, but we'll get to the main part of this video, seeing the train horns they sent. They just said they were gonna send uh, one of their best that they have. So this isn't pay promotion either. I, I purchased them, but they said that they were gonna hook me up and, and steer me in the right direction in terms of which train horns would be the best for my truck. Oh my gosh. Holy, wow, these are heavy. This is like, a, what is it? Not a trombone, it's like a tuba. These are tuba horns. That's how massive they are. Super heavy duty. Very, very big though. So we're gonna have to find a way to tuck these under on the truck. And I'll show you a clip of what my other train horn was on my Colorado ZR2 and how small that was and how loud it was. So if that was that small and that loud, imagine how loud these are gonna be. And these are made of metal, not plastic like my other train horn was. Ready? Oh. oh God. Oh my. So since we have a truck, there's a couple options on where to mount this. The only problem is the directions say not to let the compressor motor ever get wet. And that's like bold, italicized and underlined. 
So it's obviously very important. The only problem is this is an off-road truck and not wanting this to get wet is gonna be pretty difficult. So we decided to look under the hood for some space. Now I know on newer vehicles, it's pretty tight, even though the engine bays are maybe not as big as stuff like this, but there's a lot more electronics and all that stuff. Yeah, not, not a lot of room. Why is this not staying up? I think my hood struts are bad already. Look at this. And this doesn't come with one of the kickstands. Like Chevy finally made it to the big leagues here where you actually have the shocks to hold up the hood. That's ridiculous. Just one more thing. One more thing that's broken on this truck. And this one's not my fault. But anyway, yeah, no room in here to fit that big of a compressor. So we're definitely gonna have to go underneath. Can't put it in the truck because it's loud and can't really put it in the bed because rain's gonna get to it. So let's figure something out. All right, couple issues here. Obviously, if I'm involved with the job, there's gonna be plenty of issues. We're just trying to problem solve, figure out what we wanna do here with the horns, how we wanna install them. The directions say if you have a car, to put it in the trunk. Well, that's easy enough. We have a truck. It says if you have a truck, put in the engine bay. We already went over that. Not enough room in the engine bay. And that's where the directions end. So we're kind of on our own here on trying to figure out where we want to install these. This is about an hour's worth of problem solving uh, for me here, trying to figure out where to install in the frame. You have fuel lines, you have clearance issues. Right here is about our biggest gap, but I don't want to drill into the body. And then the frame, it just becomes a big project because we'd have to tap it uh, to put the bolts in because we obviously can't put nuts in the other side. So we'd have to like thread the frame, which would be very cool. I've never gotten to do that before. This is the first time I've ever seen Boomer in a garage and I just cannot wait to own a garage. I get sidetracked easily, but that's my coat and hoodie there. He just like picks a spot and hangs out. I just love this. I cannot wait to have a garage and uh, some of my pups can hang out here and watch me while I work. Until we start drilling or doing loud noises, then you gotta go inside. But look at this, dead of winter, essentially. It's almost Christmas time. Short sleeves, because we got the heat on in the garage. So it's beautiful in here. At least we have nice working conditions. So I know you guys don't wanna hear this, but this. This makes it easier whenever this truck goes away, possibly. My bed is a mess. Now it already has holes drilled to drain. So we could use one of those holes to run the power to the front of the truck. And I could make this like a modular unit, get a board here, paint it up nice and mount everything on this, mount the horns, the compressor. And it just makes it super easy that way. If I wanna remove this and uh, put it in another truck say, or just not have it because I need my bed, um, it makes it super easy because our other problem is no matter where we do, even if we do this super professionally, it's almost impossible to fit these under here because these horns are so big uh, without them hanging underneath. And that is going to screw us because they're going to get ripped off during off-road. And that will 100% happen because they hang lower than anything. The only thing on this truck that hangs lower than that is the tires. So that's where we're at right now. And it, since it's modular and it's not supposed to get wet, I can maybe put this in like one of those gang boxes, those metal toolboxes or whatever. And then these disconnect here, these spin off. So I can take these horns off, put this inside the box, cut out holes that are like big enough for this, and then slide them in this way uh, so that the horns are sticking out. It'd be like the horn box. It looks so cool, be protected, sort of be like a, a discreet build here that we'd have going on. I think that's what we're gonna do right now, but for now, we're gonna stick it on the board in the back of the truck just to make it easy and get this horn into action. <laughs> Yeah, this is a lot easier, a lot more convenient to install this. I'm a big fan of this. Horn blasters definitely make a quality product. Again, this is not paid promotion, but if you guys do wanna buy this, they have an affiliate link, so it helps me make my money back uh, that I spent on this at least. So that's down in the description if you want something like this for your rig. They have a bunch of these on like SEMA trucks, like I mentioned, people paint these to match the truck. That would be cool, like a glacier blue. Uh, to paint these to match. That'd be pretty sick. So we'll see how this goes in the future. This is a whole modular kit now that we can move around and put elsewhere on the truck. Uh, but we have a little bit of wiring that we need to do here. I mean, this is pretty crazy at the amount of stuff. It looks overwhelming. Doesn't this look like uh, there's a type of licorice? Kazoozles, you guys remember that? That's what this looks like. Even though there's a lot in here, this is a universal wiring kit. So half of this stuff you're not going to use. Uh, so they just give you all the parts you need to ensure that it's an easy install. Relays here, fuses little butt connectors. Yeah, this will not be hard now that we got this done because uh, this was easy, wiring is gonna be easy, and we get to test out these wicked horns. This is pretty cool here for a safety feature. This is so you don't have a uh, negligent discharge, not that you'd really care, but a little button here that pops off the horn, you can give this like a quick tap, but you also have like a kill switch here for on and off. So this would be on, so it would unlock your switch so you could turn it on, and then turn it off so that you're like not, if you're moving around your truck cab or something like that, and your knee bumps this, you're not gonna discharge this while your nine-year-old grandma is trying to get in the truck. 
so it's all wired up and ready to go we have the jumper cables here acting as our ground wires running here just so we can test it out it's hooked up to a car battery so this should sound pretty cool inside the garage with the garage doors closed they made sure to include some uh pretty cool looking it's like the christmas tree style earplugs safety first So this is our temporary setup, at least to get it working while it's off the truck. But this is essentially what it would look like on the truck. Where, I mean, this is like a little like cheat diagram, something you'd see in like a museum, but all the wires hooked up to the power source battery in the front of the truck. And then uh, this is our mounting bracket that we built and gonna have in the bed. But then we'll move these uh, the switches and buttons to the, the cab, obviously to make it a little bit more convenient, but sounds pretty good. We've been testing this all morning here. Uh, it's pretty early and one test I wanna do is see how loud this is from inside the house because my uncle's in town visiting for Christmas and uh, I wanna see if we've been a little too loud for him. So I'll carry you guys into the house here and I'll let this thing rip, see how loud it is. Train horns are so much fun. I mean, it is so cool that I can just slap all this gear on this little piece of wood here. And all of a sudden, I have one of the best scare machines ever created. Tressa should be getting home here from work pretty soon. So uh, let's give her a little greeting. We say this all the time, I know. This is the best giveaway though, I promise you. I'm not gonna lie around Christmas time. This green cryptic kryptonic, one of 46 kryptonic green manual. What am I saying? Kryptonic. What, what, what sounds like kryptonic? It's a rare Camaro. It's stupid rare. You wanna win this and the TRX. Times five entries plus 1,700 free entries right now. So it's your best time to enter. Make someone's Christmas by buying anything on our website. Some of my shirts here, Defund Politicians, we have the Woke Equals Week shirt. That one is super limited. So if you guys wanna get that, make sure you hit it up. Gina's Bakery, AK, bunch of stickers here. Some of them even Christmas themed. I'm like the sticker king on the website. These are selling super well. Any of these get you automatically entered to win that insane Camaro or the Santa's Red TRX. Thank you guys so much for watching. Karen will be around any day now. It's just the way it goes. She does her daily walks here. So even today, maybe after this video is completed, but I gotta get this video up. Finally got my Yang straps all untangled thank god these things are so valuable more talks about the supercharger for the silverado zr2 have been completed it's on the way now so it's all confirmed locked in this thing is getting supercharged and apparently it's so easy that even i can install it so i'm actually going to install my own supercharger on the silverado zr2 we're gonna see how that goes thank you guys so much for watching all the giveaways remember that down in the description change your life for christmas it's gonna be insane i cannot wait to give any of these three vehicles to any one of you guys it's gonna be awesome so make sure you hit those up rf racing 717 on instagram likes are always appreciated they help out so much if you guys don't mind slapping a like down below just take two seconds and like the video it really means a lot i'm sure i'll see you guys before christmas but if i don't for whatever stupid reason happy holidays merry christmas and let's put this train horn to good use let's go